Ciao from Hawaii. In Argentina, we use ciao to say goodbye, but in Italy, they use ciao to say hello. These earrings are made from antique buttons that I bought in Napoli. The fashion tip for today is to be conscious of that it's very nice to have clothes that are a little soft and loose in the top and also in the hips and ass region, but that are very fitting through the bodice area. Corsets do that well, but also any skirt that's high-waisted and shirts that are soft and loose in the breast so that they aren't going to open or become tangled, but that are come in below the breast. For guys, the tip is just express yourself a bit. It's really very charming. And whether that's a hat or suspenders or a beautiful shirt or some a, sewing a ribbon down the side of your pants, just find a way to express yourself. Tango's an opportunity for that, and girls think that it's very charming if you do so. Today's exercises are for the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle flexes our hips and lifts our legs. Now, you don't easily feel the work that goes on in your psoas muscle. We can be, we need to pay attention to both strength and flexibility. And for strength, we want to do something really very, very simple, which is simply lifting the leg, holding it. If you can't do this, you have a strength deficit in your psoas. It's not a balance exercise, so feel free to hold on. If this is feeling easy, you can try lifting and extending onto your kitchen counter or your bathroom counter or your bar if you have one. And again, to exit, lift and release. Maybe it's easier without shoes. Lift and hold. Extend. Lift again and down. Of course, you can also do that without putting your leg on anything. But the important part is holding. That's where you increase the strength of your psoas. We also want to work on flexibility. If you have pain in your lower back after dancing tango, it's very likely that your psoas muscles are too tight and need to be stretched. This stretch may relieve that, and in the long term, you want to strip both strengthen and increase the flexibility in your psoas. Be sure to pad up your knee with a folded up yoga mat or a towel or a blanket or even a pillow. Stabilize yourself with your hand on the forward leg. Tilt your butt forward. This will create the stretch through here. You may also feel your quads getting a stretch as well. And then take the same arm as the leg that's being stretched and go to the side. This makes sure that you're also working on the iliopsoas, which is the muscle that is around the psoas. With any stretch, you want to hold the stretch, trying to go deeper and deeper into it for at least two minutes and up to five minutes. Breathe deeply, and you'll find that your body slowly relaxes into that stretch. It's great to do stretches at night before bed. And don't forget to do the other side. <laughs>